Hi. Whenever I ask people to create visual slides instead of those boring, wordy, text-based slides, I get immediate objections like, Ram, I can't draw. I'm too old. I'm not creative. Just stop. Do you think you need to be a Leonardo da Vinci or a Michelangelo to create visual slides? Absolutely not. I'm sure as a child you've drawn something. Even if you've forgotten most of those skills, I'm sure you know how to draw a square or a rectangle, a circle, an arrow, etc. Then you have all the drawing skills that you will ever need to create visual slides. Let me prove it to you. Now, what do you see here? Three circles, right? Now, in itself, it doesn't really convey much. Now, let me draw an arrow between these circles and suddenly we have a beautiful diagram. This can be a timeline diagram. You can label each of these circles with different years and you can explain your story. It can also be a process diagram. You can label each of those circles as different stages of a process and explain your process. Now, let us go back to the same three circle diagram. But this time, let us play with the size of those circles. Take a look at this. The circles are growing in size. This can be a simple three-stage growth diagram. This can represent growth in revenues, growth in number of employees, growth in number of branches. Now, if I reverse the order of these circles according to their sizes, I get this beautiful three-stage decline diagram. It can be a reduction in the number of complaints, or if you want to paint a grim picture, it could be even reduction in revenues. Now let us go back to the same three circles diagram, but this time let us add a simple twist. I'm going to block the movement from one stage to another and all of a sudden we have a blocked process diagram. You can label what those blocks are and you can explain how by removing these blocks you can improve the efficiency of your process. Now let us play with the positioning of the various circles. Take a look at this. We have one circle here and we have three circles emanating from it which automatically makes it a simple cause effect diagram. One cause, three results. It could be one idea leading to multiple ideas. Now, if I were to reverse the order, for example, instead of one to many, if I were to show many to one relationship, I have a different diagram. Now, if I were to break this into multiple stages, I get this. Can you see here, this is a funnel diagram. We have these many people entering the funnel, then the next stage of the funnel reduces a few of the people and then finally we have this result. Now let us rearrange the order of this diagram and you get this one which is a beautiful pyramid diagram. Now instead of drawing these arrows this way, if I were to change the order of these arrows and draw a few more arrows, I get a nice organization chart. Now if I just pick up some of these curved arrows and rearrange some of the circles, I get this pretty useful circular process diagram. Can you see here? We have not gone anywhere beyond a circle and an arrow and we have created a plethora of diagrams that can help you explain your ideas far more visually than those nasty bullet point lists. Now the best part is these kind of diagrams can be drawn anywhere. For example, you can draw them on a blackboard, a whiteboard or a piece of paper or a chart paper. You can pretty much draw these diagrams anywhere you like. Now, if you don't want to draw them in front of your audience, you can draw them ahead of time and add relevant animations. And when you do that, I call that a visual slide. Just that much and nothing more. You don't really have to be a great artist to create visual slides. Now, in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint templates bundle, we just take the same basic idea and soup that up a little by adding some interesting visual elements and some animation and create templates that can help you create awesome slides in a matter of seconds. Now, take a look at these examples. This is a three steps timeline. Now, what we have done here is we have replaced those three circles with these three beautiful 3D shapes. So the diagram looks that much more professional. Now, look at this example. We have replaced those three hand-drawn circles with three pictures of hurdles. Now we have a beautiful visual metaphor. We just need to add the relevant labels and we can tell our story. Now look at this example. Instead of those three circles, you've got three lampposts and those three can represent three events along the road or the timeline and we have an interesting looking slide. Now look at this slide. Instead of that flat road, now we have an uphill task. And each of those milestones is now replaced by these flags, which are the achievements along the path. And we have an interesting diagram. But as I mentioned before, 
The basis for all these beautiful animated diagram templates is that basic diagram that we drew earlier with a simple circle and arrows. In fact, if you have a presentation only to your internal team, you don't even have to get any souped up version. Just use those rough circles and arrows and you'd be able to tell your story with impact. So I hope that you got sufficiently convinced that there is no excuse whatsoever for not creating visual slides in your presentations. And if you want to watch me making over some real life ugly text-based slides into clear and simple visual slides, click on the link here. It will take you to a short playlist of hand-picked videos where we showed how to make over text-based slides to visual slides. So go ahead, click on the link, watch the playlist and improve your ability to visualize ideas on slides. I'll see you inside that playlist.